Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm Nicarda McLean. Now, in some respects, the recently retired Nesta Carta's riotous relay running rather overshadowed his prolific production as an individual competitor. Mondo Musing sees how this stalwart stacks up against the other 19 men in the Jamaican Sub-10 Pantheon. Number 10. The 7 Men with 1 Sub-10 with his 999 at the John McDonnell Invitational in 2016, former Olympic and World Sprint Hurdles champion Omar McLeod became the first man in history to go under 10 seconds in the 100 meters and sub-13 in the 110 meter hurdles. Percival Spencer, one of the most promising Jamaican male sprint talents in the 90s, heads a trio with PRs 100ths of a second faster than McLeod's. The 1996 Olympic representative emerged as one of the stars of the 1997 Jamaican National Championships thanks in large part to his 9.98 second career best effort. Odin Skeen, another sprinter with a checkered injury history, sits alongside Spencer at 9.98. Aided by a max allowable tailwind of 2 meters per second, the then Auburn athlete sped through the mythical 10 second barrier at the War Eagle Invitational in 2017. Just over a year later, Florida State's Andre Euros followed suit, joining the exclusive club at the NCAA's East Regional Qualifiers. Ex-Monroe man Senoy J. Givens is another who took his sub-10 stroll while competing on the U.S. Collegiate Circuit. In 2016, while rocking the famous burnt orange and white of the University of Texas, he skittered away from the likes of future world 100 meter champ Christian Coleman to win his semi at the NCAA Championships in a time of 9.96 seconds. Meanwhile, the fast-starting Andrew Fisher is one of two Jamaicans who eventually took their talents to Bahrain, who've gone even quicker. The ex-MVP speedster hit the heights in 2015 by dipping all the way down to 994 at a meeting in Madrid. The other is Fisher's former Stets teammate, Kamarly Brown, who created quite a stir in May of 2014 when he flew to 993, the fastest time ever by an American junior college athlete while repping Oakland's Merit CC. Number 9. The Four Men with Two Sub-10s Though more widely known for his work over 60 meters indoors, former Commonwealth and Pan Am 100-meter champion Lerone Clark was also highly accomplished over the shortest sprint distance outdoors. His pair of 9.99 second clockings was highlighted by that which he registered for third in some esteemed company at the Doha Diamond League meeting back in 2012. Raymond Stewart, who holds the distinction of being the first Jamaican man to log an electronically timed sub-10 run, also features here. One of the fastest products to ever roll off the line at the erstwhile Sprint Factory, aka Camperdown High, the 1987 World Champ silver medalist established a then national record of 9.96 seconds which saw off all challengers for over a decade at the 1991 edition of that competition. Reigning national champ Taekwondo Tracy has also made two trips into sub-10 territory so far. Both were made at the London Diamond League meetup in 2018, highlighted by a 996 effort in the heats. Mario Forsyth, the on-song hero and many a zippy racer's 4x1 relay back in the day, rounds out this very solid quartet. He made great use of the famously speedy track in Rieti in 2010 to come away with a lifetime best 995. Number 8 Three sub tens. MVP's Julian Fort currently has a trio of times under 10 seconds on his resume. The best of the bunch is the 991 that the Tokyo 2020 200 meter rep produced inside Berlin's fabled Olympiastadion in 2017. Number 7 Four sub tens. Former Veer technical standout Steve Mullings seemed destined to script an epic sub-10 story until a series of restricted substance suspensions intervened. The sadly unfulfilled talent of the 2009 World Champ Sprint Relay Gold Medalist was best represented in his brilliant victory in a sparkling time of 980 at the Prefontaine Classic in 2011. Number 6. 7 Sub-10s Michael Freitas exploits as the backstretch blazer on some historically fast 4x1 teams are well documented. Much less heralded is the 2005 World 100m silver medal winner's career as a solo artist, which saw him belt out a best of 9.88 seconds. Number 5. The Two Men with 11 Sub-10s 
Despite not having subbed since 2015, world champs finalist Kimar Bailey Cole has still managed a double-digit tally of such times. A career-best 992 presently marks the last occasion on which the 2014 Commonwealth Games 100m champ ventured below 10 seconds. Nikhil Ashmead also currently owns one more sub-10 time than he has fingers to count. The bustling ex San Diego sprinter almost dead heated with Bailey Cole in the 2013 World Champs 100m final had earlier run a 990 personal best to get the better of his smooth striding countryman in the semis. Number 4 29 Sub 10s Nesta Carter's blistering first 40 fueled his ascension into the ranks of the all-time great sprint relay leadoff men. It also propelled him to a bronze in the bills at the World Champs in 2013, which conclusively affirmed the compact sprinter status as one of the island's very best. With a PR of 978 set during a spectacular season in 2010, the 35-year-old also clocks in as the fourth fastest Jamaican in history. Number 3 41 Sub 10s Johan Blake's remarkable career has seen him amass 40 odd and counting marks below 10 seconds, despite missing almost two years of his prime to career threatening injuries. At his beastly best back in 2012, Blake bolted to the joint second fastest time in history. Number 2 52 Sub 10s when it comes to the short sprints, this is just about the only category in which Bolt doesn't stand atop the podium. What the world record holder slightly lacks in quantity though, he definitely makes up in quality, laying claim as he does to four of the ten fastest times ever run by mankind. And number one, 97 sub 10s. A Safa Powell's sub 10 king nickname says it all. At no time was the two-time World 100m bronze medal winner's dominance of this domain more evident than in his 15 sub-10 2008 season, which he rounded off with nine consecutive nine-point times. Even if the soon-to-be 39-year-old doesn't achieve his long-stated dream of a century of sub-10s, it's likely that his reign in this realm will continue for quite some time yet. So that's it for another episode of Top 10 of the Weekend. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please do consider liking, commenting, or sharing. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, Godspeed.